then more and more I see that many people have this entrepreneur, you know, they claim themselves as an entrepreneur. Um, yeah, just to get kicked off, I just Googled, no, I chat, I, I chat GPT, he did. It's hard to, hard to, uh, GPT did. <laughs> yeah, probably, the, probably Google had the better branding agency. <laughs> Welcome to Raw Writing Slingshot, the podcast dedicated to aspiring entrepreneurs. We are sharing compelling stories, invaluable lessons, and hard-earned wisdom. Join us as we uncover the secret to turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. Today, we're talking about what actually is entrepreneurship and why it's so important. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and yeah, let's get started. So, okay, can you, before we go, why can you tell us what is uh, entrepreneurship from a scientist perspective? It's pursuing of opportunity regardless resources currently controlled. Okay, <laughs> I think I cannot hear me anymore, but it's yeah, it's like you pursue an opportunity and it's not managing transactions or something like this or solving a problem just it's really like that you see an opportunity um and and you have the will you have the skills to 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 find a way that you can provide a problem solution for this specific business opportunity and of course it's a french word and it's another word for being unemployed so okay so in in the context of open ai with this uh, uh, founding team by the way when it was founded it was uh, also uh, financed and co-founded by elon musk in a later stage for some reasons there are uh, different stories or rumors uh, sam did um buy or the existing team did buy or take over the shares of elon and elon uh, left the company or left the, the circle of the investors there must have been some disappointments about how to you know how to proceed with, with these capabilities of the ai they were building um but in the end this team under the lead of sam altman they in, in your definition, they had to go, help me. So they, they were pursuing, whatever it means. No. They said, there's an opportunity to provide a, a better language-based artificial intelligence. And then they, see, they, they saw and, 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 and felt this opportunity that it could uh, how you, uh, like you mentioned that it could change the way how we write texts how we make marketing communication uh, how students uh, produce essays and and so on and so forth and that was the opportunity this team said hey let's pursue now this this opportunity and so in that sentence of course they are entrepreneurs yes and that it, it nobody came and told them to do so you know it's that's different to google because google said Okay, you guys, now you take care of these um, AI uh, topics. And now you have a project budget. Let's go. Or, okay, now we acquire this startup. And then they were told to do so. Entrepreneurs are not told to do so. They do it uh, from an from a inner um, a motivation. It's, it's like, yeah. It, and, and, and they are convinced that they could do it by, by, by their self effectuation. You know? that, 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 that they do it out from a personal individual perspective they let, let's try to 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 do to do that you know and yeah that that's 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 a, that's entrepreneurship and i'm pretty sure that they wanted to outperform google and i i feel like they were were willing you know to set a new standard what these capabilities of this general artificial intelligence is capable of, 
that they um you know set the mark and now a new game begins yeah and back to elon you know elon musk was also founding partner of the future of life institute in massachusetts you remember um and mm -hmm. Chita, Chita mark and, and max tech, uh, tech mark and max tech mark and these guys as the academics they are really um um they fear or they are afraid or even frantic when they look at the development of artificial intelligence because they, what they say um, is that there's a chance that this intelligence could explode that means that it could become super intelligent uh, or a general intelligence and uh, Kurzweil and tells this um, the singularity so that means that we have a, an artificial intelligence that is as smart as a human being and it will develop itself or the intelligence will, will develop itself um, exponentially faster that we could do as 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 um, angels in 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 animal bodies you know like in, in yeah and so because they fear of that they say okay now we have to dis define rules already now what should we put into like an ethical code into these algorithms that they grow that's the picture of, of, of a tree that means that they have to grow with these ethical principles so that when they will explode or that this intelligence will explode that we are at least able to discuss ethical topics with this um, intelligence and otherwise um, there is um, um, a threat that we will have Skynet you know, from, from Terminator so that, that, that this intelligence is, is not um, interested in, in that we will survive as a, as a species um, and there's also a nice also a nice um, um, game a uh, brain game yeah tell me uh, what what's the word what what is the english word for this here i don't know ask Jim. <laughs> we cannot ask him <laughs> let's let's call it Bürochlam, okay with, with the metallic Bürochlam. when you now train a, a, an artificial intelligence and say okay you have one goal you have to produce this paper clip paper clip okay they say okay now really like, okay uh, okay look you have to um build paper clips and then you train this artificial artificial intelligence or this machine learning to to build paper clips as as fast as much as possible that's that's the target of of this intelligence this ai but when they when this intelligence will become in, in more intelligent and more intelligent then it will do everything that it could um, assemble all resources that it could get to make more paper clips and one day all resources on this planet will be um, spent for building paper clips so that means this intelligence starts um, traveling inter interplanetary first so it will use the mars and, and our moon and 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 and, and, and pluto and not pluto not about jupiter and so on and so forth and then it will starts um start to um, devil, um travel uh, interstellar so because it needs more resources to build paper clips and when we think at the end of this situation the whole universe will be a paper click at the end of the day because that was the target of this ai and now the question is is this meaningful or not makes that sense or not you know so that's that's the um, you know um gedankenspiel that we have to be, be clear that when we design a, an artificial intelligence now that we have to give them meaningful goals you know at, at the beginning when it's when it's not so smart because when the day comes when when we reach singularity then we need this this ethical um questions and discussions that will otherwise it, it will it may make nonsense you know when we when you take open ai if open ai would explode now then it will change the whole universe into a language-based chat 
does, does this make sense that the whole universe is just a language based chat, probably in English? So, so basically, all, all, just that we keep this in mind that Microsoft um, invested 10 billions in OpenAI and part of the funding round that would value the company at the 29 billion um, uh, uh, number. And Microsoft will reportedly get 75% share of OpenAI's profits until it makes back the money on its investment, after which the company would assume a 49% stake in OpenAI. So literally, Microsoft is with responsible that this you know, that, that the strategy of the further development of this AI platform um, goes in the right direction and not is not ending up, um, you know, transforming the the galaxies into a paperclip, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know. Talking about valuation, of course, in this valuation is an expected future. So th these are expected potential values that could be realized with this technology. So, so if if we, if if we imagine, okay, um, we we will have. Um, a paywall later so you are a, a marketing communication agency and then you have a, a, a paywall that you can now um, get access to better data or better um, um, uh, algorithms and then you become a better marketing communication agency because you have that access to this data or to these algorithms and, and, and there behind it would be a business model and of course, in this valuation, I think this is already calculated in this in the, uh, calculated in this valuation because this is not the value of OpenAI at the moment. I don't know. How yeah, but yeah, but I think you know companies, you know. So this so, is. Uh, but I think I think that you know this valuation is already um, basically calculated what access Microsoft has with OpenAI and will provide these capabilities of the software to all their Microsoft clients. That will, yes. you know, so that, that all this, all this, this uh, AI capability will built in, in like everything they have, like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Teams, and so on. So, mm -hmm. you know, then the valuation is even bigger. That will be huge. Yeah. Anyway. So why entrepreneurship? No, I, I think now it's more easy to explain that, right? Yeah, I think this is, um, yeah. Um, so I think if if we wouldn't have entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in our species, so when when there would not be any people that had an an an, an internal locus of control and that said, okay, I want to now to 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 fix that problem and to to provide the solution in a scalable way to other um people on that planet we would still uh, be in the stone age you know so <laughs> so of course yeah there's there would be no development because at the end of the day is 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 always a person who who wakes up in the morning and says okay now i go and fix that problem now and not only for me but for for others as well, or for for the whole for the whole society, and so in that sense, we would not have innovation without entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurs are very important that we have any development. And of course, the last two three hundred years, the, this this development was always in in direction of quantitative growth, and and to become rich and to get profit. Uh, but more and more, we see also uh, entrepreneurs that solve problems um, um, that are not profit-led, but um, maybe social or, or sustainable goals. Because there as well, we have a lot of problems, and we have to solve that, them. If we don't solve them, uh, yes, of course, we risk to we risk our planet, and we risk um, the uh, existence of our species. And so, also there, we need now 
entrepreneurs who wake up in the morning and say, okay, now I fix this problem with, with this plastic in the, in the oceans, something like that. Also, that is one thing. And the second, in, in an economic perspective, of course, they create jobs, you know. As I think in average, in the United States of America, the average is about 3 million jobs, new jobs that are created by um, startups. So that this, this, this are, these entrepreneurs are also important, not only to solving problems, but also to create jobs. And of course, it's also a question of uh, how the economy is structured. So if you want to change the, the, the industries, if you want to change structures within the, in, in the, in, in the, in the economy, it's also the entrepreneurs and the startups that, 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 that they all have the, 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 the most influence on, on structural change in, in an economic perspective. Well, in other terms, when you are a, a, a nation or an area and you can generate more young people becoming entrepreneurs so in the close future in the close future you know you will be better off as a society because as um the more entrepreneurial energy you have in your nation the more innovations you will get in the in the close future the more jobs are generated the more salaries you can pay the more people like employees that get that salary will will spend that money invest in houses or or shop or go on vacation so that's then like a, like a, you know the machine the machine that drives your economy right so uh, that's richard florida's thesis as so richard florida his book is called uh, who is your city and he he was analyzing um hubs or big cities and he wanted to find out what are the, the criteria that defines whether a city is a creative, there's a, uh, a creative class of young people that you mentioned. And that was like, yeah, like the, 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 the breeding ground that you will have later entrepreneurs or enterprises um, that will, that will uh, contribute to this wealth. And yes, also in regional development. So when when, when I have um, discussions with with so regional development managers, uh, I always tell them, hey, find a way that you find a, an entrepreneur, a growth entrepreneur, that will start his business in your region. So like Künzelsau, you guys know, Künzelsau is a very small, um, it's a village in in, in South Germany, and that was uh, in in middle of Schwabenland, or trees and cows and you know, nothing else but there was one guy um, and he said i start my business now here and that was um professor Riot, oder? And, and he started his his crew company in Künzelsau. and of course Künzelsau is now very wealthy very wealthy region with with nice hotels with with a lot of companies around this world international uh, company so when when Reinhold Wirth wouldn't found this company in Künzelsau. Künzelsau still would be um, a, 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 an unknown village in or take Trumpf in Dietzingen. Dietzingen is also so. Is, I don't know. But the, the family of Trumpf um, started building uh, Trumpf machines there, and that was the economic engine for the region. And uh, yes, of course, uh, take the Silicon Valley as well. So the, the, when when no entrepreneurs would go there and starting their businesses there, then the, 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 this area would not be um, that uh, flourishing as, as it is uh, at the moment. Uh, so entrepreneurs. Yeah, it's like, it's like, you like it. Yeah, sorry. That's uh, I think that's another reason why entrepreneurs are, are important. Yeah, to 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 develop a region. It's it's it, you know. It's the same with SAP in Waldorf. It's the same in, in, in the Silicon Valley with Steve Jobs, now with Elon Musk and all these people that founded the, this huge, the biggest co the companies in the world right now. And in Zurich, it's, it's ex the sa exactly the same, same history. It's just like uh, 150 years before Elon. We, ha we had our Elon Musk as well in Switzerland, namely um, Escher. Mm -hmm. who, who founded basically a bank, an insurance, the ETH, 
who you know was behind the the Swiss Railway Corporation, you know, and um, it's also interesting, you know, all these these entrepreneurial um, energy. Often they create something because they have a vision, and then realize to get you know to get there with this vision, um, I need you know I need money, and there's no institution, no bank that paid you know that helped him to finance that you know his his vision and so he just founded the bank yeah. then he, he realized and i okay now i can finance my my innovations but i need an insurance so he founded an insurance then he realized i need more engineers there is no school that you know provides my companies with engineers so he helped to found the eth um when we see this mechano um that also falls in a time you know where or in the area where these kind of activities or the entre, ent, uh, uh, um, entrepreneurs are welcome and have the freedom to do so and right now that's that's in china right china is well, is I an area in some hubs of china yeah the most part of china is still um it's not developed but there are hubs of course there are hubs and they are very well developed yeah, absolutely okay but there's a lot of countryside in china <laughs> you can travel days and days and you don't see any any um enterprise or something like that you you will only see countryside and cows and sheep. Hey, like you when, when you go to into the Rust Belt of the United States, the, it's not very developed up there. No? Isn't it? It's very concentrated on some spots, right? It, it, it has a little bit diversified from the Silicon Valley to uh, Texas. Um, no, um, take, well, Austin, take Austin. Like when, Austin. When, when, uh, Austin, Texans, that was the, it was at HP or no? no um, there was one one of these um, tech companies founded in Austin. Michael Dell. Uh, Dell, exactly. It was Dell. So yeah, when when he would be there, yeah, Austin would be still the capital. I think it's the capital of Texas, isn't it? That's Houston. Is That's it? oil. Yeah. But the same with Los Angeles, like the Silicon Beach. You can remember, um, we were there at Instagram. Um, which is out of LA. It's it's like you know, close by, uh, close by uh, Venice Beach. Um, and since then, you know, so you have also many companies down there in LA that just like grew into this Silicon Beach. I cannot remember when I when I visited Instagram. I don't know, it was ten years ago. Um, it, it was not called Silicon Beach back then. When I'm right, mm -hmm. but anyway also you know also in in los angeles you have a huge a huge um, um ecosystem where startups get get funded and and um very very dynamic ground there yeah so also to conclude uh, why entrepreneurship also first of all i think it's part it's part of our success story as a species so entrepreneurs entrepreneurial people um they pursued these opportunities and brought innovation to the society that helped us to develop from from the stone age to to now uh, second yes it's in, in economic perspective they create jobs they create wealth and yes um they can develop a region and and the third, I, I, I don't know, maybe it's, it, it's not, they, they have to do so. They, you know, there's not the plan B for an entrepreneur. <laughs> he cannot say, he cannot choose between becoming an entrepreneur or not. When you have this, this uh, um, um, personal traits of, of being an entrepreneur, you have to do so. You know, I, I don't know, but maybe you have an answer, but I think there's no, there's no alternative. Of course, you can you can be hired for a job, but uh, but then you will be completely unlucky. Also, then yeah, you know, then then you're bored out the first day you start your job. You know, 
Look, there was, there was um, in 1984 at the Super Bowl um, uh, break, there was Apple with this commercial introducing Macintosh. And, the, you know, it basically shows how the world looks like if there are no entrepreneurs. <laughs> you know, we, I'm going to post, I'm going to, um, I will post the link. And um, no, it, to, to me personally, um, you know, I just cannot imagine not being an entrepreneur all my life. Um, you know, I, I would do everything. I, if I could go back, I would do exactly the same um, again. And, you know, trust me, um, also for the society, it's much more fun if you have the more, the more entrepreneurs, the more founders, the more startups, the more innovation, the more, you know, it's, it's fun in general, mm. you know, it attracts more young people, you know, they go their own way. They're, they're looking for new stuff. It's much more dynamic. It's much more fun to live in a, in a, in a country or in an area where you have many, many new, new companies. Mm. Yeah, so if you if you if somebody now thinks you want to become an entrepreneur and is younger than 30 years, uh, don't hesitate to um, apply on studio alpha dot capital or studio minus 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 a dot com. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. computer will introduce Macintosh and you'll see why 1984 won't be like 1984 The magic of CBS Sports Sunday is the Okay, jetzt habe ich gemerkt, da Aufzeichnung, Aufzeichnung beendet. Ich habe es falsch aufgenommen. Ich habe jetzt gemerkt.